everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and it's time for your weekly wrap-up. What do you guys think of this looping logo I got here? I had a guy on Fiverr do that for me, so I'm going to start integrating this a little bit more uh, into all of the videos that you see to make their, our little backgrounds a little less generic. So i got to work on some drop shadowing and some other stuff, but it still looks pretty cool. So we're going to keep uh, developing the channel graphics as time goes on. I am not an artist, so I rely on others to help me with that, and I'll put a link below to the guy on Fiverr that uh, made that looping logo for us. So check, check him out. He did a nice job, I think. So uh, this week, we've got an interview with Shai Gotin, who's the guy behind uh, the Power Up 3.0 paper airplane thing that you basically put that little motor inside a paper airplane that you make, and then you can control it with your uh, iPhones. You can see his little Kickstarter pitch video kind of looping there next to me. Uh, so he'll be talking to us about uh, the product, of course, but I'm also eager to talk to him about Kickstarter and how uh, you go ahead and fund one of these uh, things and get them to the point where you can actually deliver it to customers. Because I've seen in a couple of instances where people made a successful Kickstarter and really couldn't get it implemented because they were too successful and didn't understand all the manufacturing that goes into this. So I'm eager to see from him uh, how he planned for it. And certainly he had uh, some experience in the toy marketplace to begin with, but uh, it's never easy to really meet demand on these things successfully. And he was able to do that with this product. So I'm eager to see uh, what he's able to tell us about that. So we'll check that out. I also got this Leva XPC. I just shot the review earlier today, so that'll probably be up on Monday or Tuesday. Uh, so check that out. That is basically a, a similar hardware to the Gigabyte bricks that we spent a lot of time with, except this one comes pre-configured with RAM and storage. So it's a little bit easier uh, to get into the door with it. So we'll check it out, uh, do a nice review of that one. We're also gonna take a look at this five-in-one mobile companion from Kingston. And what this is, is like an external battery for your phone, uh, but it also has memory card slots so you can uh, load files back and forth and stream from it. And because the battery is pretty big inside the device, uh, it'll stream for a pretty long period of time, you know, locally within a you know minivan or whatever you're traveling in. So good for kids with a lot of movies to watch on a long trip. So we'll uh, be checking that out. I'm also finally getting caught up a little bit. So I do want to uh, go ahead and start doing the Q&As on uh, the Dell XPS 13s. I've been collecting a lot of questions from folks over the last uh, two weeks or so or three weeks. Uh, so I'm always looking for more. So if you do have more questions about it, uh, definitely leave them in the comments below. But I'm going to start probably doing a, like a series, maybe two or three different videos uh, covering some of the uh, very similar questions, you know, similar topic kind of questions. So we'll be going through uh, that as well and all sorts of stuff going on. I do a follow-up on the Seagate Personal Cloud too because I found uh, you know, the, the performance was a little bit off on it and I found uh, some ways to make the performance a little bit better. So we're gonna go back and take another look uh, at its drive performance. And I think there's a little bug in there uh, related to the AFP protocol and it's also something related to uh, the little indexer that runs whenever you put things onto the drive. So I'll talk about that uh, probably later in the week. I'm gonna be talking to Seagate on Monday or Tuesday about this just to make sure that I'm correct in what I think the problem is. So we'll definitely check it out. This is still an early product and they always you know, do first firmware updates and everything else. So I really wasn't uh, holding it against them on the performance side. I know it'll get better. Their last product certainly had really good performance. So we will be uh, checking that out. If you want to help the channel, you can. You can go to lon.tv slash Patreon for a monthly contribution, or you can go to my YouTube channel at lon.tv uh, for a one-time contribution. We do buy a lot of the things that we review on the channel. I also buy a lot of production supplies from time to time to keep everything going. So uh, that fund really helps that because especially on the items that I buy to review, I often have to resell them at a loss. So uh, that fund really kind of helps uh, balance things out. And I'm always open to suggestions about things I should buy to review. Uh, so definitely leave those in the comments below. Uh, one of the items that I bought was a Parrot AR drone Bebop. And uh, my first one, which I mentioned on the wrap up probably about a month ago or so, uh, crashed and literally burned. It started smoking the second it hit the ground. So uh, they sent me another one, or at least they're in the process of sending me another one. It finally shipped like last week. I should have it uh, hopefully this week. So that was one of the items that uh, we purchased for review on the channel. So that will do it for this week's weekly wrap up. Again, if you have any questions, please definitely uh, leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them as best I can. As the channel grows, it's getting harder and harder to keep up with all the comments coming in, but I'm doing my best. And I, uh, again, always appreciate everything you all are doing. Don't forget, we got the forums at lon.tv slash forums. You can go in and start uh, interacting with each other as well. I know a lot of you signed up. Haven't seen too many posts just yet, so uh, definitely get in there and start writing some stuff. I'm going to be working on the template and stuff and trying to make it a little bit nicer than it looks right now. So that'll do it for this week. This is Lon Seidman, and thank you as always for watching and commenting.